gorgeous, this is Joana Saida with a video about magnetism in Egyptian dance, how to become a more magnetic oriental dancer. Have you ever noticed how great oriental dancers have that fierce, untamed, almost magical presence to them, as if they were goddesses and you just want a piece of it? <laughs> have you ever noticed how they are self-confident, how they are fluid, feminine, yet very strong, how they project their energy and their presence and their charisma as if they were queens, and then again, you just want a bit of it? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. So if that's the case, if you answered yes, you got to stay for this video because I'm going to tell you how to bring more magnetism, more magic to your dance and to your life. For the ones who don't know me yet, I'm a world-renowned oriental dancer, teacher, choreographer, author, and I'm also the creator of the pioneering Joanna Seda's World and Joanna Seda's Online Dance School, delivering authentic Egyptian dance, personal discovery and empowerment. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, it's time to do so. Click on subscribe and then click on the notifications bell button so that you know every time I have new goodies coming into the channel. Obviously, also, subscribe to Joana Saida's World Newsletter if you want to be the first to receive our news, gifts and exclusive inspirations I only share with my beautiful people. You could be one of them. Check the link on how to subscribe in the description box below this video. And now, magnetism in Egyptian dance. Ah, how to get it? How to make it happen? How to become a more magnetic dancer? The first thing is to explore something that I'm about to explore in our dance school, at Joanna Seda's Online Dance School. Very soon, next weekend actually, we're having a workshop called Traveling Steps in Egyptian Dance, something that you will not want to miss. Then again, check the link uh, for more information about that workshop in the description box below this video. And this workshop is focused on Traveling Steps in Egyptian Dance. This is the first tool that I would like to share with you in order to bring more magnetism to your dance and to your life. So action, whenever you are invited to move outwards, to run towards somewhere, you are invited to bring your masculine polarity to the table, your ability to shine through. So if the feminine polarity invites you to go in and stay there and be receptive, the masculine polarity invites you to go out, to give, to create, to manifest, to go for things, to go towards things. In my opinion, Egyptian dance and life are composed of a good balance between these two. It's not only about feeling and staying put. It's not only about moving and running and doing. No, it's a little bit of both. If you hear good Egyptian music, you will see that sometimes you're asked to go inside and quiet, and sometimes you're asked to go outside and loud and clear and allow yourself to be seen and to spread your energy, your light, your presence, your charisma like a queen. And that's where traveling steps come. That's where we use them. That's how we use them, okay? But if you don't know how to use traveling steps and if you don't know how to project your energy, your body, your personality, your uniqueness, then there is a part of your magnetism that will shrink and eventually be invisible, you know? So the first thing is learn good traveling steps and learn how to use them. Then again, if you want to know how to do that, join our workshop, Traveling Steps in Egyptian Dance, happening next weekend at Joanna Saida's Online Dance School. Information in the link that I'm sharing in the description box below the video. Go there and check it, okay? And join us. Second thing that you can do to bring more magnetism to your dance is to believe that you have something to offer. Now, this is something that dancers struggle with a lot. They come from a place of not having enough, of not being enough. They don't come from a place of knowing that they are unique. They have a unique character, unique life experience, unique sensibility. It's not about being better or worse than anyone. It's about being, I will repeat the word, unique and knowing it. 
being fully aware of it. So when you know you have something to offer, you bring more of your energy out. You don't hide. You don't shrink. You don't uh, thrive to become invisible. You thrive to be seen. Okay, so that would be the second, second thing that you can do in order to become more magnetic. Realize your worth, woman. Realize who you are and that you do have unique stuff to share with the world. Your life experience, your own way of doing things, of feeling things, of seeing things, your memories, your intelligence, your heart, your love, even your sadness. There is so much material within you that you have to come to terms with and be able to feel confident in. And once you're confident in all that you are and all that you have to give, then you are ready to spread it and share it with the entire world. Next and the last tip for this video in order to help you become more magnetic is breath. Yeah, I know. I speak about breathing all the time, right? You heard me speaking about it in so different, so many different videos, so many different um, issues or themes. But the truth is when you know how to breathe, when to breathe, okay? you become more visible and you become more present and you become more embodied in the moment and that projects magnetism when i take my breath seriously when i consciously breathe in my dance through the movements between the movements when i create pauses for breathing which is something i tell my students all the time take a little pause to breathe and then you go back to yourself, right? Because every time you breathe consciously, what you do is you go back to yourself. You go back to your essence. You go back to the present moment. And when you do, you are in full possession of your energy. And when you are in full possession of your energy, you are ready to share it. Then again, it's all about magnetism and it starts within. If you want to know more about magnetism, how to become a more magnetic, more powerful dancer and human being, consider joining our school, Joanna Seda's Online Dance School. Again, all the links are in the description box below this video. And consider joining our upcoming workshop, Traveling Steps in Egyptian Dance. Then again, all the information is also in the link that I'm sharing below this video. In this workshop, I'm teaching you traveling steps, I'm teaching you an entire dance combination using traveling steps, but I'm teaching you more than that. We're exploring the possibilities of expansion of our energy. We're exploring our presence, how to become a more powerful human being in our dance and in our life. And you're going to love it. You're going to gain a lot from it and you're going to love it. Check it, join us. And of course, like this video if you liked it. Share it with your dance peeps, with anyone that you feel can benefit from it and receive my love and my warmest kiss. I will see you very soon. Mwah.